In recent years, many companies have shifted their workloads from on-premises to the cloud, leading to high demand and good salary for people knowing cloud computing skills. So in this video, we will be discussing all the different job roles that we have in cloud computing and what do they actually do. Let's start. Hey everyone and welcome to Cloud Champ. So cloud computing has become very popular, creating lots of job opportunities. So it's very important for every professional to learn cloud skills and get certified to stay competitive with the job market. So let's begin with why you should learn cloud computing and how it can help you. So learning cloud computing can keep you in demand because many companies need skilled people who understand how to work with cloud technology. As cloud computing drives innovation, it lets companies work on advanced applications like AI, machine learning, IoT, big data, and so much more with many, many benefits. First is cloud is flexible. So you can auto scale or grow or shrink your application based on the demand, which helps company save infrastructure cost. Also knowing cloud security is essential because it keeps sensitive data safe and prevents possible dangers, making sure the information is protected. Now that you understand why you should learn cloud computing and before exploring the different job roles in cloud computing, let's decide which cloud is best for you and which one should you learn. So right now in the market, there are so many big players or so many cloud providers like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Provider, IBM, Oracle, Alibaba, and so much more. So you might be confused which cloud is best for you or which one should you start with. As an AWS community builder, I strongly suggest if you're new to cloud computing, you should begin your journey with Amazon Web Services because they provide you with free training on platforms like AWS Skill Builder, AWS Reskill, and you can also learn cloud playing games on Cloud Quest. I'm going to paste the link of all these platforms in the description so you can check them out. Personally, I've used so many free trainings from Skill Builder when I was starting my journey of cloud computing. And I'm going to mention all these courses by the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So why learn AWS? AWS or Amazon Web Services is the oldest and leading cloud provider in this space. They have also helped many professionals learn important cloud skills that are in high demand right now. According to a recent report by Amazon Web Services, they have trained around 4 million people in India since 2017. Their efforts to train the employees and to close the skill gap has been noticed and appreciated by many IT decision makers. So you should learn AWS and get certified right now because research from Global Knowledge, IT Skills and Tidal Reports shows that AWS certifications are very beneficial for both individual and the companies. People who are certified in AWS are better at their jobs highly wanted in their companies and also help make cloud system more secure and productive. Whereas companies that hire AWS certified employees find it easier to recruit and keep talented staff, giving them competitive edge in the market. So if you want to get AWS certified and are confused which certification is best for you, I would recommend you checking out this AWS certification roadmap video, which I created explaining all the different certifications to help you understand which certification is best for you. So go check it out. Also, if you're a company who is trying to decide the best cloud provider for their application and why they should go with AWS, AWS has used global network of data centers, which help businesses reducing delays and ensuring high availability. AWS offers you with a wide range of services, including computing, storage, databases, artificial intelligence, IoT, big data, and so much more to meet various business requirements. They ensure that the data on AWS cloud is redundant and reliable, which means your data is secured and it won't easily get lost. So now, at this point of the video, I'm sure you might have understood how important and demanding it is to learn cloud computing skills and to get certified because there are so many high paying jobs in cloud. So let's understand the different job roles we have in cloud so you can decide the best one for you. So the first job role we have is cloud solutions architect. As a solutions architect, your job will be to creating end-to-end -end cloud solutions that align with business needs. And to do that, you have to choose appropriate services or components that can ensure scalability, security, and performance. You will also have to create architecture diagrams and documentation. So for example, if you work as a solutions architect, you will be using different AWS services to create application for your business. The second is DevOps engineers, which are very high demand in the market right now. DevOps engineers are a combination of software developers and operation experts. They want to improve the delivery of software, making sure it is efficient and error-free. Some tasks of DevOps engineers include developing and managing CI/CD pipelines, automate development and infrastructure provisioning process, collaborate with development teams to ensure efficient software delivery. 
Now, if you want to know more about job roles in the cloud, you want to check out this page by AWS, which is job roles in the cloud. So on this page, you will learn all the different job roles in the cloud, like cloud support engineer, associate technical account manager, entry level product manager, cloud infrastructure architect, and so much more by AWS experts themselves. So you'll get more insights about these job roles and how it feels working in AWS. So you need to check this out. The link is going to be in the description. Do check out these awesome job roles by AWS. And let's move to the third job role, which is application developer. As a cloud application developer, your job will be to create and manage applications that run on cloud environments. Some of the tasks might include developing cloud native applications using platform as a service offering, or to implement microservices architecture for scalability and for tolerance, even optimizing application performance for cloud environments. So next is cloud database administrator, which involves managing and maintaining databases on the cloud to ensure data integrity and accessibility. You might be asked to create and configure databases like RDS on AWS, ensuring data integrity, backup and recovery procedures, also optimizing database performance or optimizing queries and troubleshoot issues. Next is Cloud Network Engineer, which designs and implement network infrastructure for cloud environment, connecting various services securely. Your task might include designing and implementing virtual networks, subnets, and routing configuration. You also need to configure security groups, firewalls, load balancers to ensure network security and troubleshoot networking issues to ensure reliable connectivity between these cloud services. Next is Cloud Data Engineer. A cloud data engineer manages data analytics pipeline in the cloud. They work with large amounts of data and ensure it is processed efficiently for analysis. Your tasks as a cloud data engineer would include designing and implementing data pipelines to move and transform data from sources and destination, integrate and manage data from various clouds and on premises. Also, you will work with big data technologies and framework like Apache Hadoop, Spark, etc. The next one is interesting, which is Cloud AI ML Engineer. So as an AI ML engineer in the cloud, you will use cloud services to create and deploy machine learning models, making computers smart and capable of learning from the data. As an AI ML engineer in the cloud, your, your task would be to develop and deploy machine learning models in the cloud environment. Also use cloud-based AI services for natural language processing, image recognition, etc. Using these cloud services, you can optimize your machine learning models for scalability and performance in the cloud infrastructure. If you have a passion for teaching, the next job role is for you, which is cloud training specialist. Cloud training specialists are very high in demand right now due to the rise of cloud computing. As a cloud training specialist, you will create trainings and materials to educate people on how to use cloud services efficiently, also provide guidance on best practices and utilization. Apart from these roles, there are so many other job roles like cloud security specialist, cloud cost manager, cloud product manager, and so much more. I would highly recommend you checking out the job roles in the cloud page by AWS to know more about the job roles in the cloud. If you want to apply for these job roles, you will have to sit for certification. So make sure you're AWS certified and you will have more chances of getting these jobs. Each of these job roles are very important in the cloud computing domain. And depending on your interest, you can choose the job that suits you best. So let me know in the comment section, which job role are you interested in? So whether you choose to become a solutions architect, DevOps engineer, cloud security specialist, a trainer, or any other role, make sure to visit this page and to understand what experts have to say about these rules. Let's say you decided which job role you are going to choose and also mention that to me in the comment section. You might be confused, where should I learn it? As I already told you the different platforms that AWS provides training and resources from, I would recommend you checking out the AWS Practitioner Essential course also AWS Technical Essential course. I've used DevOps on AWS because I'm a DevOps engineer. You can also choose courses and resources based on your own job role. So the links are going to be in the description. Make sure to check it out. Most of these courses are free, but if you want to subscribe to the Skill Builder, it's worth subscribing because the trainings by AWS are very top-notch and can explain your things with examples, which is what I like. I hope this video was informative and you now understand all the different job roles in the cloud. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you and keep learning. Happy cloud computing.